Welcome to Trent TV's coverage of the 2009 Varsity Series. It's all kicking off this year with a brand new event. It's swimming here at the University of Nottingham. The atmosphere inside is mental. There's a lot of rude words being slung between the two universities, so I'm pretty excited uh, for that. And what swimmers would you say to look out for? I think we're supposed to be keeping our eye on Fliss Pryor, Jack and Dean Bates and Alec Morgan. Well, the men's 100 metre race is about to start, so should we go and check out the action? Let's go and see what's going on. So the first ever varsity swimming event supported well by both sets of fans and as Layla and Will said, the Bates brothers are the ones to watch here. And in the opening event, the men's 100 metre breaststroke Jack proved just why. Having lost the opening 100 metre medley, the Trent men looked to get the charge back on track with a resounding win and Jack Bates gave them that. With a phenomenal opening 25 metres, Bates was well out in lane four and there was no catching him. On home water, this was an embarrassing for Uni of Knots as they looked to save face with a second and third place finish. With 75 metres gone, you'd have thought Bates would have eased off, but he gave something for these travelling fans to shout about by destroying the Uni opposition. This was an outstanding performance then, something which the men would have looked to build upon in the coming events. In the 50 metres female backstroke, Trent were represented by Charlotte Hodgson in lane two, Louise Cox in four and Sarah Grisley in six and it was Cox who led the charge by storming the opening 25 metres and just led on the turn. But Uni in lane seven, five and three all looked to hunt Cox down but she had a strong enough finish in her and got some valuable points for Trent with a first place finish and an impressive time with 33 seconds. 0.58. Union nuts with a 2 3. <laughs> Having blown the opposition out of the water in the 100 metres, the 50 metres proved a different prospect for Jack Bates in four. In the opening strokes, it was neck and neck with pretty much all swimmers in with a chance of a podium finish. But Bates' reputation for a strong finish was proved once more with a sublime turn and a strong push into the final 25 metres. Another first place for Bates, Uni of Knotts in second and third. A fairly close series of exchanges between the Uni and Trent Lott in the women's teams and the 100 metres freestyle proved to be a bit of an epic. Donaldson in lane two for Trent got after the quickest of starts, but there was little to choose between the four in front before the turn. Lennox in four and Gill in six, tiring after 50 metres, but Donaldson kept up her impressive start by keeping up the pace. Uni in lane three and five made it an uncomfortable finish for Donaldson, but she just held on with a time of just over one minute and one second. With the tired men's Trent team, Uni of Knots storm this final men's event. Lane five, the Uni of Knots not holding back and practically winning the race in the opening few strokes.
Great support from the Trent team though. And they'll be looking to come back just as strong next year. University of Nottingham then winning this part of the Varsity Series. 363 points to 226. Back over to Will who's poolside. We've been joined then by a lot of the Nottingham Trent team. We'll go to the team captain first. It hasn't been a great day for us. Not a great day but we've all swam well. All the girls put a lot of effort in. Well proud of them. The boys, I don't know, slack a little bit over here. But no, everybody's tried hard so we did the best we could. Be better next year. Come back. Get it back. <laughs> okay. Just question. Who are you and what events were you swimming in? I mean, I was... <laughs> what did I swim? I swam 50 fly. I swam 100 fly. I swam 100 IM. A bit more fly, a bit more free. Quite a lot today. <laughs> quite a lot. So I'm quite tired at my end. Quite tired. Quite tired, but at least you put a lot of effort in. Yeah. What about yourself? Um, I'm Fliss. I swam the 100 IM, which I won. Thanks. Uh, oh, no, 50 free, uh, 100 breast and all three relays. And it was a good laugh. And everyone worked hard. Well, a great victory for Trent then, and yourself then on the end? Uh, I'm Rich, I did the uh, 100 IM, 100 free, which I didn't quite finish, uh, 100 fly, and then all the relays. So it uh, wasn't too good on my swimming. <laughs> we, do, we, do, we do a lot of swims, like, we put ourselves in for a lot, so it's tiring. It's a lot. People don't realise how hard swimming is. They're just like, yeah, you just get in, splash yeah. about, bit of doggy paddle, done. <laughs> But yeah. does it make a big difference to you, them having the pull and Trent not? Yeah, definitely. They get so much more training and it's like they get to choose when they train. We have to train late at night and then we enjoyed we'll get the there. day overall, yeah. didn't we? And we're all going to go out tonight day. and have a good time. <laughs> OK, so have we got any final words? I'd just like to thank everyone that took part. We, we put up a good fight and we, all our swimmers put all, as much effort in as they could and we were really tired and we're ready for a night out. So thank you very much. Cheers. Well done. <laughs> Well, it's been a disappointing day for Nottingham Trend in the pool. Yeah, I'm absolutely gutted. We didn't win, but we fought to the absolute end. I'm very proud of everyone. Yep, well, Rugby League's up next. Hopefully, Trent can level the series at one apiece. Will you be at Lady Bay? Absolutely, definitely. I'm really looking forward to it. Bring on rugby.